Good Monday afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Candace Howell with WMBF Local Living. Our first guest is here to talk about junior achievement of coastal South Carolina. I'm joined now by Chad Vale, and he's coming here to tell us about a great trivia night that you guys have coming up. This is your first one. It is definitely. We're excited. Dagwoods is hosting this event down in Surfside. It's going to be the 17th of April. And we're hoping we get a lot of folks to uh, sign up online on our website at jcoastalsd.org to participate. And so Junior Achievement, tell us a little bit about the organization, then we'll come full circle back to the trivia night. No problem, Candace. Thanks again for having me. Of course. Um, <laughs> we were chatting before. Uh, this uh, Junior Achievement empowers students to own their economic success through volunteer delivered programs that are delivered to elementary, middle, and high school students. Um, we serve Ori, Georgetown region and other counties on the coast and um, we've got a specific volunteer opportunity list on our website for folks to participate. And so tell us a little bit about what exactly um, you guys do with the children and how junior achievement is so important to their future. No problem. Volunteers come into classrooms and are empowered with our turnkey curriculum. And this curriculum is used for 9 million students across the world every year. And this curriculum reinforces financial literacy, workforce readiness, and entrepreneurship. Uh, volunteers are empowered with this turnkey curriculum and they, and they infuse their personal and professional experiences as they relay this relevant information to students. In truth, now more than ever, Candace, we need this because we've just come through a recession, I'd like to say come through on the other side of it, and, and this is what we need to hopefully instill these values in these K-12 through students. So they make wise decisions with their paychecks and also, not to mention, get a job and, and make wise decisions that, that help them in their interview process. Well, anytime you can teach you know, the youth fiscal responsibility is going to be, you know, it's going to be good for them in the long run. And you find so many times, you know, you have students that graduate high school, they go on to college, and they're, they're really thrown into having to deal with their own finances. And for them to have the opportunity to really kind of learn what they could be doing ahead of time, kind of get ahead of that situation is obviously better. And so for you, growing this organization, tell us what it's like for you day to day. <laughs> day to day, it's never the same thing. Sometimes I'm on TV, which is wonderful to spread the news. Sometimes I'm meeting with uh, students or it could be with volunteers, or it could be with our wonderful champions that we have throughout the area. Um, you know, obviously we're a fundraising organization on our website. There's definitely a donate now button, uh, but we're really trying to do student-centered activities and connect our volunteers with the classroom so they can really make a, an impact on those students' lives. Um, and I want to make sure that everybody understands that it, when you volunteer with Junior Achievement, it's a relationship building sequ sequential learning process where you not just go in for one time as a guest speaker, but you get to go in multiple times. And I got to do it last week in a school in, uh, down in Charleston, actually, and it was fantastic. Um, I get to do it from time to time myself, and I wish I could do it more as a volunteer with JA. And what do the kids tell you guys when, when you <laughs> go in to be a guest speaker and you're part of Junior Achievement? They love it, Candace. It's, it's one of those things where uh, it's a memorable experience that they're getting. And you can tell in their eyes that they're connecting the dots between where they sit in their chairs in maybe a fifth grade or an eighth grade or twelfth grade class and where they want to be with their career pathway. Um, it's, it's an amazing thing. The students love it. They know that sometimes it's, it's kind of an uh, experiential learning activity they might be doing and it's different than their regular algebra or things like that, but they understand how it, how it relates to what they're going to be doing in the future. And they really do value the time that Jay volunteers are in the classroom. It's, it's really the best way I've found personally to give back to the community uh, and take action. And so speaking of volunteers in general, you guys are always looking for volunteers. Tell me about your immediate needs. Sure. At um, the Early College High School, which is at HGTC, very close to Coastal, um, we've been invited to do programs in May. And the specific volunteer opportunities are on our website with specific dates that the, uh, the faculty there has invited junior achievement volunteers. And we've got a few slots available on this. On the list, it literally says assigned and available, so you can see and take action. Also, at Loris High School and at Zocasty High School, we've got a couple more. But it's not just high schools. We, we've been very involved with Seaside Elementary, St. James Middle, lots of other schools in this community and throughout the coastal region uh, and being able to empower those students to own their economic success. But those high school programs happen to be the one, ones right now that we need volunteers. I think St. James Middle has a couple of slots also. Um, so we'd love to get folks uh, assigned to those um, teachers that have invited Junior Achievement in their room and to take action so they can take the turnkey Junior Achievement curriculum and bring that relevance to the classroom. Well, and also you're wanting the community to, to get on board and buy into Junior Achievement. And one of the ways that you folks at home can do that is you can become part of the Titan of Trivia Night, oh, yes. which is coming up next Tuesday. Tell us about the event. I love that it's Titan of Trivia. So <laughs> if you're trivia buffs, this is a great event for you. It is. We're going to be at Dagwood's uh, Sports uh, Bar over in, in Surfside. They've got two great locations. 
locations. We're going to be in the southern one. And uh, John's been great to invite us and give us the trivia night slot from 5 to 8. And uh, just $20 a, a person or $80 of a team of four can get you in. We've got an online uh, registration available from our website, jcoastlsc.org. And it's, it's seamless. We want you to come out. We've got uh, about half the teams are registered now. We've got about 20 slots or, for uh, teams, so about 100 people we hope to attract. Well, and, and as always with any trivia night, they've got a great trophy that we want to talk That's about. Right. If you like to have that token trophy that you can brag about, here's a good one for you. Thanks. We've got a, a very garish trophy, I have to admit. It's got a big cup on the top, and I, and I, I just can envision the, the winning team, you know, walking away with this, you know, three-foot trophy. Stanley Cup style. Right. And they're going to be able to put it in their firm or, or banking institution or whatever it may be and display it proudly as their champion for junior achievement and have you know, proven they can win a trivia contest, but more importantly, supported the J programs in our region. Well, exactly. So again, the Titan of Trivia Night is going to be Tuesday, April 17th. So mark that on your calendar, 5 until 8 p.m. It's up on your screen there. Again, it's at Dagwood's Deli and Sports Bar on the south end of town. It's $20 per person and again, four people per team max there. And you can go to their website, which is jacoastalsc.org. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate having you and good luck with the, uh, the tournament there. It'll be good. Hopefully we can get a team together and get out there yeah. and win that Garish trophy because it sounds like I need that on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you again. If you'd like more information about junior achievement, please visit their website. Coming up, we go inside CCU to talk about the school's upcoming careers with a cause event. And if you have a question for one of our guests, you can email us at localliving at wmbfnews.com. Local Living will be right back, but first, Paula Caruso has a look at the stories that we're working on for you tonight on WMBF News.